Okay, so um, this is a optimization problem. Uh, we're trying to figure out the point, well, points on the ellipse um, that are farthest away from the point one zero. So you don't really need to graph the ellipse uh, to answer the question, but it, it probably would help to give you a, a visual. Now, of course, you have to remember um, how to uh, graph ellipses, but um, if you divide the whole thing, remember the general form, uh, you have to have one on the other side of the equal sign. So if you divide by four, um, you would get x squared plus y squared over uh, four or two squared equals to one. And so what this means is that um, on the x-axis, uh, you go one on each side, and then on the y-axis, you're going to go two. And so then you draw your ellipse, so it looks something like this. Okay, so the point one zero is right here. Now, the point far on the ellipse farthest away from this point, um, if you just kind of eyeball it, you can see that it's uh, somewhere around right there. And um, of course, there's also another point down here, same exact distance. So you know, somewhere all along those lines, maybe a little bit higher up here. Okay, so then once we drew our picture, remember, um, so then the, the second step is to find the uh, function that you're trying to optimize. In this, time, in this case, we're trying to maximize the distance. And so the distance is equal to the square root of um, x minus, so it's x2 minus x1, so it's going to be my x value minus my x, my point, which is 1 squared plus y minus 0 squared. And then remember we uh, we talked about this, but um, remember that we said that the same spot where the distance is maximized is the same exact spot where the distance squared is maximized. So if we square both sides, this will help us um, get the derivative. So then what we get is that the distance squared Let's put the square on the outside. Distance squared is equal to um, x minus 1 squared. Now let's, let's expand that. Um, x squared uh, minus 2x plus 1. And then plus uh, y squared. Now y <coughs> um, Well, let's just write it out as y squared. Okay. Then the, the third step, um, remember we have to write this guy down as a uh, function of one variable. So the most obvious choice is to uh, switch the y instead of y. Uh, solve for y on the original. So y is going to equal to, or just solve for, since we have y squared, just solve for y squared. Um, so y squared is equal to 4 minus 4x four squared. So this whole thing, this whole y squared is going to be replaced by 4 minus 4x four squared. So then what we have is uh, the distance squared is equal to uh, x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 4 minus 4x four squared. And so the distance squared is equal to, uh, if we combine, we get negative 3x squared uh, minus 2x plus 5. Okay. And then the uh, fourth step is to optimize. So what this means is we get the derivative. So the derivative of the distance squared is negative 6x minus 2. Set it equal to 0. 
and we get that x is equal to negative one third. And so you'll notice that x equals to negative one third. Well, that's yeah about right there. Or so, and but also notice that there's two y values. So the points that are farthest away from the ellipse are uh, negative one third, and the y value um, is we would have to plug um, negative one third into uh, this guy. And then this guy is, there's also another, um, another y value. When we get, so let's do it, let's plug it in. So here if we um, get the square root of both sides, we can solve for y. And then remember this is plus or minus. So uh, y is equal to plus or minus the square root of uh, 4 minus four negative one times negative one third squared. So we've got four minus, um, this is gonna be uh, four ninths. And so this is 30, uh, 36 ninths minus four ninths is 32 ninths. So this is uh, the square root of 32 over 9, or the square root of 9 is 3. And then negative square root of 32 over 3. And so that's good enough right there. And that's that.